My name is uh, Professor Robert Logie. I'm a professor of human cognitive neuroscience at the University of Edinburgh and a group leader in the Centre for Human Cognitive Ageing. My major interest is in uh, the sorts of mental functions that change with age uh, across everybody as they get older. So while many other aspects of research within the centre are focused on how different people vary uh, in how age affects them, my interest is in how different mental functions change with age. So much of my work is looking at uh, different kinds of cognitive abilities such as memory for what things look like, memory for words, uh, memory, ability with problem solving, uh, ability to remember combinations of colours and shapes and so on, and how those are differentially affected, how those abilities are differentially affected by age. Uh, and in some of the work we've done, uh, it seems as though ability to remember visual patterns uh, is much more affected by age in across, across everybody um, uh, than, say, ability to remember words. Uh, and this difference between uh, different kinds of mental functions uh, is a way of, first of all, telling us something about how the brain ages uh, and also allows us to try and develop specific tests for particular kinds of disorders that are associated with age. My, my major focus is on what's known as working memory. Uh, that's the ability to keep track of what you're doing moment to moment. In order for you to keep track of this conversation, you've got to remember what I, I just said uh, and also uh, understand what I'm saying right now. And that's continually changing moment to moment. And that's very different from the ability to remember what you're doing last week or last year for your summer holidays. It's this ability to continually change um, our memories for what we've just experienced and what we're experiencing now, and even thinking about what we're going to do next. Um, uh, so what's going through our mind right now? And that, that's referred to as working memory. Clearly, if age has um, an effect on this ability, so that it deteriorates with old age, that can undermine people's ability to function independently. Uh, they might need more help. Uh, what the centre has been valuable for, two, two major things. I think one is um, it's providing a forum for interacting with people from other disciplines. So I've met and interacted with people who do genetics, uh, work at the molecular level of neuroscience, uh, with a wide range of clinicians of one sort or another, um, that I probably wouldn't have interacted with had it not been for the centre. Uh, and that's valuable in terms of getting a great insight between uh, what I study, which is human cognition, and what's actually going on inside the, the physical brain. Um, the other big advantage to being part of the centre has been the access to people who have experience of translating academic findings into something that's of practical value. Uh, and while my expertise is in the area of, of um, developing understanding, uh, developing experiments that can tell us more about how the brain works, um, of much less experience of how you might translate that into something that could be used by people outside of academic life. Um, and the, the expertise that there is within uh, the centre uh, has been invaluable in terms of helping develop the, the tests for Alzheimer's disease that I mentioned, for example.